Hello friends and welcome to another review of affordable school fountain pens. This time I have um, a fountain pen made in the EU, EU in the European Union, more exactly in the Czech Republic. And it is a Concord fountain pen, Pernicipero in uh, Czech. It comes in this package. It has a sweet little uh, doggy with a fountain pen in its mouth and the name Concord fountain pen. It comes with four international ink cartridges included in the package. Always a good deal when you have so many cartridges included. It is available in this light blue color and also a red or um, pink color and I think this is the version for young boys and the pink ones are the version for young girls. On the back we have a Concord and a fountain pen Concord Punto the name Wolf Office Suppliers Company Limited Czech Republic and the site www.wolf-concord.com CZ and of course the translation in Romania and the official importer in Romania the firm Kohinor and uh, a code and a price code bar so um, interesting another affordable fountain pen made in uh, EU Probably you've seen the episode where I presented the Eco International fountain pen that was made in Hungary. This time, this fountain pen is made in the Czech Republic and it cost me approximately 8 lei or 1.65 euros or 1.96 American dollars. So now we are ready to open the package. The package... Um, opens quite um, easy because we have this cardboard that secures this plastic in front okay now we can Peel off the cardboard and uh, okay. It is quite easy as soon as you can um, reach the fountain pen. A nice looking color, a cap, and uh, most important, the ink cartridges included four ink cartridges so this is the package and i will leave it aside now let's put the ink cartridges aside before we will check out the fountain pen first uh, we unscrew the barrel plain plastic we insert one of the ink cartridges okay for the first time Let's see. Okay, we heard that click sound, so it means it's securely fitted. We leave this aside and I will insert another cartridge in the barrel because I want to see if the pen can carry simultaneously two ink, small ink cartridges. We have a little problem. Let's see. Okay, so I will insert it like this and now, no, maybe uh, or if I will put it the other way, it will work. No, so, so right from the start, we have a little problem, an inconvenient. So it definitely it doesn't hold two 
small ink cartridges. Let's try to. No, 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 no. Okay, my first observation is that uh, this fountain pen unfortunately doesn't carry two small ink cartridges in the same time. And it's a shame because uh, there is lots of space here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Please correct me in the comments if uh, there is a special procedure to introduce another small ink cartridge. But in, in uh, this case, I uh, managed to introduce only one. Let, um, let me try. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So with this one, I should press and... No, as you can see, if I insert the other cartridge, this section of the barrel doesn't reach the threads and I can't unscrew it back in. So it is what it is. Let's examine for a little while our fountain pen. Ob obviously it is made all out of plastic. The cap is particularly interesting because it is made out of a transparent plastic so you can see the nib clearly the cap is friction fit and as you can see it needs some force when you pull it off it has this interesting system on other fountain pens made in China, I've seen these little domed uh, shapes on the grip section that have a role to properly secure the cap. We have a clip and on the clip we have painted or on a sticker, I don't know, but I think it's painted, Concord. Let's see how springy the clip is. It's quite springy. Be careful at this point because it could break in time. As you see, the Czech manufacturer didn't reinforce this plastic part. So this is a weak point. The end of the cap, it um, ends also in this plastic part. You can see that the plastic part is connected with the clip part made out of uh, the same material. And... It ends in uh, this slightly oblique line. The end of the barrel, it presents uh, some um, hole, and it's a hole, and you see some markings from the molding of um, plastic. I like the color, and you can see that on the barrel we have those white dots. Interesting, interesting um, choice. It certainly makes the pen more attractive. And of course, I like this color. Now, I have uh, prepared for you some similar fountain pens. So, this is our Concord Punto fountain pen. And next to it, we have the production of the um, Hungarians from Eco. I call this Eco International fountain pen. And uh, it is quite a similar, similar transparent cap. This time the barrel also is transparent, in a blue transparent. And it has the same dome type of uh, closing the cap. But this time the cap, you can see, it uh, doesn't need so much force when you pull it out. Of course, this is more, uh, let's say, stable because it has those little domed shapes more frequent than the other one and it certainly closes quite securely so quite a similar fountain pen made also in the european union i have this time a fountain pen made by the chinese for the french ocean retailer also done in plastic and uh, i have prepared also two interesting fountain pens made for the Carrefour retailer in China, but uh, those two are quite, quite affordable. I found a promotion and I paid for each of them approximately 
twenty euro cents. So uh, quite affordable fountain pens. I have also the mini mouse fountain pen. It is a fountain pen made in China for uh, school uh, young girls, and it is distributed in Romania by Pigna Distributor. Also a fountain pen made in China, and also a fountain pen made in China, and also for young school girls, Histoire de Fil, made for the French ocean retailer, but also in China. I have a fountain pen made in EU in uh, Germany, the Schneider Zippy fountain pen, and another fountain pen made in China for um, the marketing Romania for the French Ocean uh, retailer. This is a product from Igle. And also, and I hope that I can show them to you all, I have a product from um, India. It is the Muppets Tattoo Fountain Pen with this uh, comic uh, theme to it. I will show them to you side by side. You can see that our Fountain Pen Concord is of regular size. It has an interesting color, uh, light blue color. And I will also leave its dimensions on the screen. In comparison with the fountain pens made in China and in India, they are quite interesting fountain pens. As you can see, they are all colorful fountain pens, quite attractive for young school children and quite affordable writing instruments. So I will leave these fountain pens aside now we will we will do a short writing sample with our fountain pen you can see it needs some force when i open it and let's see if it uh, posts yes it posts securely now we will check out to see if the ink has reached the nib and yes it has reached the nib by the way i haven't showed you the nib the nib is quite a plain looking nib, a steel nib with no imprints on it. As you can see, it has those holes on the side, characteristic of um, steel nibs we saw on Chinese models, but uh, this uh, nib has no imprints on it. So I don't know if it's made in the Czech Republic or in China. At the back, we have an interesting, interesting looking plastic feed and this feed is certainly found only on this type of fountain pen made in the Czech Republic. I haven't seen this type of feed on the Chinese models or the Indian models. Definitely a good point here. Let's see how it writes. So we have the Concord. Punto. This is made in the Czech Republic. The nib is quite interesting. You see we have some uh, juice to it. We have a steel nib, a plain steel nib. And I consider this um, a fine or maybe a medium nib, but I think it's a fine nib. As you can see, it writes quite nice. The only uh, problem I have with it uh, is not a scratchy nib, but it has a little, little, little uh, feedback. And don't get me wrong, a little bit of feedback is quite uh, good when um, you try to write with it but it depends of um, your personal preferences let's see now if it, we have some variation i wasn't expecting so no flex to this nib it um, oh i almost forgot the important price eight lay or wine 
1.65 euros or 1.96 American dollars. So quite an um, affordable school fountain pen. A nice writing instrument. I um, wanted the nibias to be a little bit smoother than this, but um, as you see, it works. It's uh, perfectly fine. I like the flow of ink. It's certainly a usable fountain pen. And um, the other thing that I want to mention is this grip part, uh, the gripping section. It is made out of plastic, like the whole body of the pen, and it offers a little grip point with uh, this um, domed uh, shape markings that have a role to secure the cap. But I don't like that this isn't a rubberized section. Um, it's just a suggestion to the producer, maybe next time they can improve the design of this fountain pen. Although I must tell you that all the elements of this fountain pens, they um, come together to offer this affordable price. If we add on some different materials, certainly the price will rise. Remember, this is a product made in EU. So, made in uh, the European Union. Okay, this was my review of the Concorde Punto Fountain Pen made in the Czech Republic. Certainly an affordable school fountain pens for um, young children. If you liked my review, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I wish you to have a nice day thank you for your time bye bye